so making this uh, flying cat zooming through a vortex tunnel is pretty easy. Start off in a new scene, delete everything, and then we're gonna import an image as a plane. Now that's an add-on uh, which you can enable. So here's my image, importing that, go into front view, tabbing into edit, rotating it so that it's facing us 90 degrees. There we go, cat, done. Now let's add a camera in. Um, just hit Alt-R and then rotate that 90 degrees. Move it back a little bit and there we go. So now we need the tunnel basically. Uh, but first, if we go into the shading tab, we can move the cat and put the color into the emission. So we don't need the uh, any lights for the scene basically. So now we wanna add the the tunnel. So the tunnel's a, there's a few ways to do a tunnel, but this loops, so uh, I'm gonna use a torus for this. Uh, and I wanna change the radius, so it's kinda thinner. Maybe to right about 0.13. Okay, so I'm gonna go into edit mode, rotate it Y 90 degrees, and then scale it up. Scale it up, and now if we look here, we've got the tunnel. Uh, let's parent, select the cat and select the camera, hit Control P. So now when the camera rotates, the cat will rotate so we can kind of angle it up towards the, towards that. So let's go into edit mode on this, I actually hit Alt S, and then point negative five, negative, let's see, S. Point one, negative point, point two, let's say. So we want it to be thinner so we can see more of the tunnel. That might have been a bit extreme. Yeah. Okay, so select the tunnel and we're going to add a material. So, new material, just delete the principal shader, add in an emission. Shader, plug it in. Now let's add a texture. Um, just use noise. To, the one I used for the final one was different than this, but it's, it's just more mixing stuff together, basically. So let's pick some colors for this. So it's going to go from, say, red to blue. Okay, so that's kind of awful. Add more blue, change the scale. Hit, select this and hit Control T and change that from generated right there to vector, or not, or plug the object into vector. There we go, that's better. Um, actually, let's add a subdivision to this too, this torus. No, not the cat. I mean, you can do that to the cat. That kind of adds an interesting effect now that I'm looking at it, but, <coughs> excuse me. Um, that's gonna sound awful. Uh, in the recording probably. So there we go, got the cat. Um, so now, um, when we rotate this on the x-axis, you can see that movement. So that's basically what we wanted. So if we go into animation, I can on frame one, I'm gonna hit rotation. And then I'm gonna go to like frame 195, I guess, and on the x-axis, we're gonna rotate it 360 degrees. And then hit I, rotation. So now, rotates 360 degrees all the way around, so it'll loop, but we want it to end on the frame before that because the frame, uh, this frame and this frame are the same rotation, so it would double up. So we'll just end this on 195, and now we need to change something in the graph editor. These. This is the, the animation, so it starts off slower, gets faster, then slows down to rotate. But we don't want that, so we have to go to key interpolation, um, interpolation mode linear. So now it's just an even speed. So now if we go back and 3D, 3D viewport, and then if we play this, there we go. Very easy to set up, basics, completely done, right? So um, one thing you can do additionally is go to frame one here, 
add like a rotation and a location with the cat, and then duplicate that, hit Shift D for that. Bring it all the way to 180, 195, and now, which this needs to be a 190, 194. So now we can have the cat move like up and down a little bit. So of course you could use the noise for this, but and let's just. Uh, Select these, B for box select, duplicate them. So now if we hit play, get the cat zooming around, kind of doing his thing, and um, it loops back. Wait, does it loop? Why isn't it? Oh, I don't think I. Let's delete that and then duplicate this again back to the end. There we go. So now it should should loop. Yep, there we go. So now it's looping. One more thing that uh, looks kind of cool on this is if we add in a little icosphere and then let's just move it over here, scale it down a little. Shading, new Delete the principal shader, add an emission shader, and plug it into here. We can add little like sparkly effects. So let's up this a little bit. Uh, select the the torus. Now we're going to add a particle system. New particle system emission. Uh, let's go with something like that. And we want it to end on frame one, so it's not uh, adding more particles. It just has all of them at once. So now set the lifetime to something larger, go to the physics tab set to none, and then we want the uh, render. So this is what's rendering. We want object, we want the icosphere, and then that's all on the surfaces for the uh, faces and stuff. So we need to change that in the source source so yeah then we do volume so now it's all the volume of the um, the torus so now if we go to the animation you can watch this you get these little like spheres going by and if we go to the settings right here for this we can go motion blur and bloom so now uh, those are all glowing and glittering. So uh, it looks like there's like sparkles and stuff. And you can add like other shapes and stuff and up the uh, here, let's up this to something higher for the icosphere. I might be mispronouncing that. Whew, so it's super bright or something. You can scale it, scale that one down, and all of them scale down. You can change the size on all the other ones too to random sizes, but. Um, of course, you could. Oh, and another thing you can do is uh, for the icosphere, you can do um, object info node, plug in random to color, and then add a color ramp. Oh, not vertex color. Color ramp, and select a range of colors. my headset is saying that the battery is low. So now I uh, think those should be different colors. Yeah. You might actually have to make a collection of different icospheres now that I'm thinking of that. But anyway, that's the basic thing. Goodbye. Or instead of a cat, you can always use the TARDIS.